Hey guys, my name is Elise. Welcome to my channel. And if you're not new around here, thank you so much for coming back for another video and welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my April. No, wait. It's May. Okay, it's May. Hold on. May BoxyCharm unboxing. Yes, girl, it is already May, so we are going to do the damn thing. So if you do not already know, I like to try out every product that comes in the box. I like to give you all the 411, really let you know what's really good with these products. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So this is the box, obviously. Okay. Okay, girl. All right. Let's start that over, shall we? All right, so the first thing that we... Hey, you know what? Where's my card? Hello, BoxyCharm. Do you think I didn't deserve a card this month? How am I supposed to know what's one? Okay, I don't have a card this month, so that's a little upsetting because, you know, I don't really know what to tell you guys as far as the prices or anything like that. I'm just going to have to look it up. The first thing that I have here is this Cover FX Blurring Primer. So this one is full size. This is a one fluid ounce product, and it goes for $38 rude. It says here it's a lightweight soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and other imperfections for soft smooth airbrushed skin. So we're all about that life so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is what it looks like here. So it is kind of like a flesh tone skin tone shade. It's not like a white primer or anything. It feels a little... Why am I being so rough? Hold on. I need to be a little bit more gentle. It feels a little bit silicone-y and it also feels um, a little bit on the oily side. These kind of primers though, I do like to really push them into my skin. I've been doing that a lot lately just because I feel like I've been getting more and more pores, especially on my chin area. The pores around my nose and just like around my, like, my cheek area right here, like I already knew about those, but like around my chin, I've been seeing pretty open pores. I'm trying to cover up those bad boys because I ain't got time for that, okay? I don't have time. These pores ain't trying to let me be great, so you know, we have to do something about them. So I like to always push these sort of primers into my skin just because because I feel like it works better that way. I'm gonna let that sit into my skin real quick and then I'm just going to apply foundation over it. Overall, it does have a slip to it. It does feel a little oily, but once you do apply it, I don't feel like my skin feels greasy or anything. So I like that. I don't want a primer that's going to feel oily or sticky or greasy on my skin just because I already have oily combination skin, more oily in the summertime. I don't wanna be adding any more oily products to the oils that I already have. No, thank you, ma'am. I have more than enough oil. Thank you very much. You can keep that. You can keep it pushing. No, thank you applied my foundation I can tell you guys I do really like that primer just by the appearance of my chin overall I do feel like it really helped cover up some of the pores that I have in my chin like I had mentioned earlier I have been getting a lot more pores lately I don't know what that's all about but I I don't need that okay I do feel like a lot of the pores that I had like right here don't seem to be as prominent so I mean, I can only assume that the primer did that. So good, I really like the primer. So now the next thing that I have here is this Pure Sculptor Palette. This goes for $30. This is a four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave the skin sculpted to perform with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. So it seems like BoxyCharm and Pure are always like getting together and throwing something out at us and I am not mad at it, okay? Pure is a hell of a brand, so I am not mad at that one bit girl oh okay this is really nice it even has a mirror too which you know I appreciate a good mirror in a palette and this is what it looks like it has four shades these seem to be a little bit deep for me so I'm not sure if this is some sort of universal sort of palette or if you can pick up other shades I'm just gonna do a light contour with this and for this I'm gonna use this palette that came in the box this month as well this is the Aesthetica P12 brush and this brush and goes for $27, which, <laughs> that's a penny. Okay, and um, we also got this little trio here, this brush set. It's also by Aesthetica, and it's $45. I'm going to use this one right here, which seems to be some sort of, like, big fluffy tulip sort of brush, which would work to kind of contour and bronze the face. Well, not really contour, but more like bronze, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this shade right here because this one might be a little bit too deep for me. So I'm grabbing the shade Inventor. Oh. Okay, that was too much. Let's blend. So they blend easily, even though they're very pigmented. So obviously be careful. 
be careful with me. So for it to be a sculptor palette, I will say one thing I don't like about it is contour palettes and sculptor palettes or whatever you want to call these sort of things always have some sort of matte banana or matte white shade that you can use to help highlight and to help set your face. Um, so it doesn't have that and I feel like that's probably the one thing that it's missing. So my thoughts on the palette, this is definitely something you want to contour with, but for contouring, it seems to do the job. It does have very ashy, cool tone shades, which is going to be perfect for contouring and carving out your cheekbones. But you are going to have to go in with a bronzy shade on top of this because on its own, this right here, this situation right here, is not going to work for me. I need a warm tone bronzer to really top this off. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some of this highlight right here. Here is Originator, and then this one is Trailblazer. Okay, not bad. They're definitely pretty. I'm going to grab some of the Originator one. Let's see the glow. Not bad. The next thing that we have is this pretty vulgar black gel liner. This is what it looks like right here. It's really pretty. It's really beautiful packaging, actually. I really, really like it. It's so, like, vintage. Something that, to me, just looks so different. So, I really, really like this. I think they got really creative and cute with this. And just try this out with one of these brushes this one right here is definitely an eyeliner one so i'm going to use this one today to apply a little bit of this liner just because this is the one that i feel would probably do it for me and this is a gel liner which i am not a gel liner type of person i know some people are really really good with gel liner i am not one of those people i am definitely a liquid liner i need my like felt tip liners these right here i can get so sloppy and so messy with them i'm going to try for you guys but <laughs> i ain't gonna promise anything Guys, I'm actually really, really impressed by the quality of the eyeliner. It's actually really, really creamy and it applies so well. I wish you guys were able to see how much I was actually dipping this into the actual eyeliner, which wasn't much at all. I literally just did like poke and like applied it on my eye and that was enough to do both eyes. This is a very intense gel liner. It is super creamy and honestly, like it is really, really good. So I'm definitely going to keep this. I don't do gel liner, like I said, but I might consider it because... This one is really, really creamy, and I really liked it. The very last thing that I have here is a lipstick, and this one is by the brand Han, H or is it just H-A-N? I'm not sure. This goes for $15, and mine is in the shade Raspberry Chardonnay, honey. And it's a lip gloss, which honestly, I'm not really a fan of colored lip glosses. I just don't know. To me, lip glosses just need to be neutral or not there at all. I'm gonna try it anyways. Okay, so overall thoughts on the lip gloss, it's not my favorite. Just as far as the color, I actually really, really like the formula. I think the formula is very nice. It smells really nice, smells like vanilla. So it's a pleasant smell, and at the same time, it's not a very sticky lip gloss. Um, I don't know how the longevity of it will be, just because it's not sticky, so I don't know if it really has a good hold to it. However, it feels very comfortable on the lip. It's very shiny, as you guys can tell. I'm not crazy about the color. If this was a liquid lipstick, I would be all about it, because I do like colors like this for liquid lipsticks. But for lip glosses, I'm just not a fan of colorful lip glosses. To me, a lip gloss has to be neutral or that's it. I can't do like colorful, bright lip glosses. So you guys, that's pretty much going to complete my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of May. Because I was missing that little card this month, I wasn't able to really tell you guys everything as far as the description and really the prices and everything like that. So I will find that out for you. I will do my research when I'm sitting down editing this video. And I will make sure that I put all of that down in the description box. So check that out. And yeah, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel girl thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye